Okay, here are some more examples of factorising. So remember the first thing I do is I draw out my grid, put in the x squared term into the top left and the constant term into the bottom right. Now I am looking for two numbers that multiply to get negative 20. Remember the sign is important. And but add to get negative 1 because that's the coefficient of x. Okay, remember there's a little 1 there. So let's list the numbers that times to get negative 20. Well, we could have negative 20 and 1. We have negative 10 and 2. We could have negative 5 and 4. We could have negative 4 and 5, we could have negative 2 and 10, and we could have negative 1 and 20. Only one of these will add to get 1, so let's work it out. Negative 20 add 1 is negative 19, so it's not that one. Negative 2 add 10 is negative 8, it's not that one. Negative 5 add 4 is negative 1, so it's that one there. So with this negative 5 and 4, I put an x with them and I put them into my grid. So negative 5x and plus 4x. Now I factorise my rows and columns. So x squared and 4x, the common factor is x. Negative 5x and negative 20. Well, the common factor there is negative 5. And you might be wondering what sign I take. I always take the sign of the box nearest to the outside. So let's keep going. x squared and negative 5x. So that's x because the sign here is positive. And 4x and negative 20, well, that is plus 4, because, again, I take the sign of the box nearest to it. So I end up with x minus 5, x plus 4. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Well, the only way that the grid method really falls down is if there's a common factor. Now, in this example here, I can take out a factor of 2 before I do anything else, because I go 2, and I get x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now I factorise, like I've done before with the grid. So I'm going to draw my grid out, put in the new x squared term and the new constant term, which is 6. I'm looking for two numbers that times to get 6, but add to get negative 5. Let's put those numbers down. So the numbers times to get 6, well, that would be 6 and 1, 3 and 2, and then I have negative 6 and negative 1, negative 3 and negative 2 look to see which ones add to get negative 5. This will give me 7, so not that one. This will give me 5. This will give me negative 7. And this will give me negative 5, so it's the last two. Put those into my grid with an x, negative 3x and negative 2x. And now multiply, uh, sorry, factorise uh, rows and columns. So the first column, x squared and minus 2x, so that's x is the common factor. Negative 3x and 6, that's negative 3. Remember, I take the sign of the box nearest to the outside. x squared and minus 3x, that's x. Minus 2x and 6, well, that's a uh, common factor is minus 2. Remember, I take the sign of the box nearest to the one I'm doing. So there, I've all got those there. So I've got the 2, that will come down from what we did before, and then the two brackets I've just found. And there is my answer.